Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer if you're new here and today's video is short and sweet but it's one that I think is a very effective and useful video especially for those of you whose makeup you have problems with it staying put all day and if you're like me and you put on your makeup early in the morning you want it to stay all day you don't want it to fade so let's get right into the video and my tips and tricks for getting some of your eye makeup to stay so today I'm going to show you the unexpected ways to use a makeup setting spray. And if you're not familiar with a makeup setting spray, it's basically hairspray for your makeup. Other than the way that it's kind of marketed, which is really just to set your liquid foundations and powders on your face, and you just spray it kind of in an X motion is what most people use it for. But for today, I'm going to show you three new ways to use it. So in this video, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 replenishing primer and setting spray. So you can also use this as a skin primer before you put on your makeup, but you can also use it to set it. So in this video, we are gonna focus on the eye beds. My first trick is going to be for your eyebrows. Now again, I have bangs. It's really kind of hard to see my eyebrows. I need a bang trim, but when you can see my eyebrows, cause I put a lot of effort into drawing them in with pencils and powders and gels. Sometimes um, at my age, over 40, my skin tends to eat makeup, even my eyebrow makeup. And so once I've drawn them in with pencils and everything, I want them to stay so it doesn't look crazy. I will use an eye brush comb. So it has the little bristles on one side that's like a toothbrush and then also has a little steel comb side on the other that's for separating eyelashes. But today specifically, we're just going to do eyebrows. So what I'll do is I will just take my makeup setting spray. I will take the fluffy part that's kind of like a toothbrush and I will just spritz it a couple times and then literally immediately you want to go right into those eyebrows that you have drawn in and you want to just gently brush it through it will help kind of keep the eyebrow hairs up in place wherever you want them to go i like to brush mine upwards and just really press those bristles into the brow hairs and it will literally help your eyebrow products stay all day long and then again you'll just do it to the other eyebrow and then you're set for the day so that was tip number one now the next one is going to be all about eyeliner. If you're not comfortable with using like a waxy regular eyeliner or liquid liner, no problem. You can actually use just your eyeshadows to create eyeliner. And today I already have the eyeliner on as you can see, um, but I will throw in some B-roll in here for you to see it in action. So what I'm using for my eyeliner is you wanna use a very fine tipped eyeliner brush like this one. This is by Real Techniques. I've had it a while, um, don't know if it's still around, but Everybody makes an eyeliner brush. This one is actually angled, which I find is very helpful when drawing an eyeliner on the lash line. I actually need a Kleenex for this part because um, you want to get nice and close with your setting spray when you do the eyeliner. So you'll literally want to take your eyeliner brush, spritz it. I usually do it kind of on top of a Kleenex and then I'll kind of roll it around a little bit to get any excess off and you can Pick whatever color you want, but today I used a dark brown to mimic just a brown eyeliner. And then you just dip your angled brush that's a little bit wet from the setting spray in your eyeshadow color. And then you immediately go on top and you want to just press in right along the eyelash line as close as you can get into the eyelashes to create that look of a nice soft eyeliner, which is great as I was doing it today. I typically use a regular pencil eyeliner or liquid almost every day. I don't do this trick a lot, but when I started to do it for the video, it's actually a lot easier than eyeliner. I was like, I should do this more often. It's actually really, really an easy way to get a nice soft eyeliner look. So I'm actually going to be doing this more often now that I've already done it for the video. And then you just repeat on the other side. If you want to use it to do a little bit of eyeshadow on the underneath part of your lash line, you can do that as well. You just really want to make sure that when you spray the eyeliner brush that you do kind of wipe it off a little bit so that you don't get too much makeup setting spray on there um, so it doesn't get goopy or anything. And then just, you know, dip and repeat, dip and repeat until you get the um, eyeliner look that you want. And you'll be shocked that powder eyeliner will stay all day long. So now for my third and final trick for how to use your makeup setting spray is going to be, and this is probably one of my favorite tricks. I can't believe I haven't talked about it before on a video because it is super duper effective. And that is to use it along with your concealer to help minimize concealer creasing underneath your eyes. And again, the older we get, the more wrinkles we get underneath our eyes. Concealer creasing is kind of a really annoying thing that happens. It's just a fact of life. 
we are living, breathing beings and we're human and we're moving all the time. So your makeup is going to crease sometimes, but using your makeup setting spray to help apply your concealer is going to help minimize it greatly. And so what you'll do here is I am, I am using a Anissa Beauty angled concealer brush. This is literally one of my favorites. It's nice and fluffy and it really just disperses concealer so beautifully under the eyes, almost like airbrushing it on. And then I'm going to use my Hourglass Concealer. Again, one of my favorite prestige concealers. And the color I'm using today is Cedar. Again, I take my setting spray and then I spray the concealer brush. You don't want to get too heavy handed with this. Just a couple pumps is good with the Too Faced setting spray. And you'll just spray it. And then I like to take my concealer and dip it just on the back of my hand. I always use the back of my hand like an eyeshadow palette. I don't know why, it just seems to work really well. And then I will take my brush and then I will dip it in the product. And then literally you will just press it in underneath the eye bed. The, the trick here when doing this is not to swipe it on because then it just sits on top of your skin and you haven't pressed it in to where it's really gonna stay. You really wanna think about the motion of doing this and that is just to lightly press it in underneath the eye and push and roll that concealer in and it just distributes it better and it makes the setting spray work better as well. And so you just do that underneath the eyes until you get as much product as you want on there. I sometimes do two very, very extremely light layers of concealer because my dark circles are just getting worse as I age. So we just gotta really hit those really well. And then once you're done, I do let it dry for just a few seconds and then for extra added longevity, I do suggest taking ever so slightly the lightest, sheerest bit of loose powder, and I will wipe off my concealer brush again just to get any excess product off. And then I'll just lightly dip it in a translucent powder. Today I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I always use to set everything, it's just the best. And I'll just dip the same brush in there, dab it off, again, sheer is key at my age, and press it right on top of that concealer and you'll be shocked with the addition of a little bit of setting spray to help push in that concealer and then setting it with a loose powder it's amazing it's so great so one of my favorite tips definitely give it a try if you've never done that with your concealer you might be surprised how long your concealer will stay because that is another area of the face that my face tends to eat up and tends to fade and this really 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 helps it to stay so much longer throughout the day all right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you learned something new and some new, unique, and effective ways to use your makeup setting spray. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I had to say that like three times, but I just nailed it. I would love for you to be a subscriber to Jenny Sue Makeup. And if you have any comments about today's video, please leave them below. I will also link all of the products that I mentioned and used here down in the notes description of this video below. So, so until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye. I'm really going to put this makeup to the test because I'm about to go sit outside for a ladies lunch in the heat. So that's really going to test all of this work that I just did. I think it'll be good. I think it'll work. All right.